perfumes and in this episode we are going to create the reviews resource for our products that means we are going to show the reviews for a particular product but obviously that has to be transformed so with that i am your host sarthak and this is a channel where i talk about laravel and the cool thing about laravel so if you are new to this channel don't forget to subscribe and like bitfumes on facebook twitter and instagram so let's see how we can do all these things so for that let's go to sublime and open app http resources product and you can see we have one product resource so if i go and open php artisan serve go to chrome search for localhost slash api slash products we will get details if i go to product we will get details of the products then if i go to this link there is nothing because we have not done anything for reviews let's see how we can transform our reviews also so we need resources for transformer so let's create that open new terminal i will say php artisan make resource and that should be make okay then resource is review resource hit enter and yes a review resource is created outside this product folder because it's not a part of product directly <laughs> okay so here comes and if i now open review controller go to index function return review colon colon all and what will be the result obviously we have to import this at the top so find views that's great go to chrome reload this page we are getting all these reviews but we don't want all reviews we want reviews for particular product so if i go here and you can see we have the product id if i change it to 10 we should get the reviews for product having id of 10 so this means we can access that product directly from here so i will say product then product and let's return this return product let's see the result so it is the 10th product we have to import this also find use and re reload and yes we are getting this product but we don't want product exactly what we want we want the product reviews so instead of this i will say product arrow reviews and remember this this is actually the relationship so if i go to products model we have this relationship so that's why we are getting this go reload you can see we are getting all these things but as we have done for the product we don't want exactly the same structure of our database to here we need transformed so we have created this review resource so let's get the fields we want to show to user so oops what happened here yeah here i will simply say customer and customer is this arrow customer that's not a problem then whatever will be the review but instead of review i will say body so that should be review body okay this is the power of api here is review and i'm giving this as a body not the review then obviously we are going to say whatever will be the star rating so this arrow is star okay that's nice and if i go reload nothing will happen because we have to use this resource uh, review resource so how we will use grab this and here i will say review resource colon colon collection why collection because it's not a single review and it's it's a collection of reviews so that's why review so let's use this at the top find use php companion everything at the top go reload and yes we can see we have this so if i go to id of two you can see four reviews four ratings ah remember this star four 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 and four 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 twelve 13 14 14 divided by number of rating is 4 14 divided by 4 will be 3.5 so if i go to this product 
3.5 is here that's great so now if i go to get all the products you will see we are getting all the products but what we want we want pagination i have forgotten this on the, when we are creating the product collection let's do it now it doesn't matter so for that i have to go product controller and on this index function instead of product all i will say paginate and simply 5 let's say 20 okay so reload this page and yes we have all these things with the next and previous links this next link and total number of product total number of per page product and everything is here so this is very nice and you can remember this it's on meta this is on links that's cool that's the exact way of creating the api so this is exactly the right time to introduce you with the postman what a postman it's a api development tool chain with this the api development is where become very easy so it's a chrome extension for windows user because for mac user the postman is now a separate app you don't have to install the extension for chrome so you can see this is a postman and here if i say localhost colon 8000 slash api slash products if i send this we will get the same thing as we are getting here exactly the same if i do this okay so great so this is exactly the postman so let's just create a new collection these are the collections i have created when i was doing the introduction part so not a problem let's create eapi collection and inside this i'm going to create a new folder called products where we have all product related route so let's save this and call it product all that will be inside product and if i want to get the product of id 4 and then send we will get the product detail for that particular product let's save as and call it product show that will also be inside product great and similarly i will also create a new folder for review so reviews and here on the reviews i want to get the review for a particular user so if i hit review hit send and you can see this is the reviews for that particular product of id 4 so save as once more and this time it's reviews all for particular product obviously then eapi reviews and that's nice so all these things are here and so if you have any doubt feel free to message me comment me and don't forget to subscribe like bit fumes on twitter facebook and instagram so before going i will just do git and all but before that let's say status okay various things then git add all git commit hyphen m and here comes uh, review resource and uh, and then product pagination okay then git push it's done and let's go to chrome here refresh nine commits and now it's 10 commits great so don't forget to subscribe and we will meet in the next episode till then bye